guy, you just got this kind of a, hey, look at it, and I'm going to go take a little trip style evaluation of coins right here from a customer. Mm -hmm. They drop this off. They got to go about their business. They're going to come back after you evaluate their entire collection here, and you're just going to go over a price of what everything is right now, right? Give them a price, and uh, if we get together, fine. If not, it's okay. Right now, I'm just working my fingers to the bone. <laughs> So all this is stuff that was in this box right here, this person's yep. collection. And they had already put them all in little flips. And Guy is individually, one by one, looking at every coin. I guess you're looking for just key dates and condition? Looking for key dates, especially when they're in cardboard like this and they're, they're easy to spot. I mean, you bring me a pile of coins, I'm not going to go through all those pennies, all those wheat pennies, or all those dimes. In most cases, in Roosevelt Dimes, there's no real dates that add up to anything. Um, you know, when walkers, I'm looking for 16, 19s, 21s, um, in any grade or higher grade would be nice. Um, but this is basically all 90% bunch of war nickels here. And that's basically, that's basically the whole thing. There's tons of these, these shield nickels and stuff out there. And, um, that's just what we have. I add it up and I do a multiply and I pay the silver and then I pay for the for the war nickels. Gotcha. So what you don't see right here is guys actually individually writing down all the different prices. I wanted him to block that out because the pricing is his kind of business, you know, is you know part of his what he yeah, does well, this here. This guy's already got um six, seven, eight hundred dollars. Just in this little amount uh, here and here. Yeah. yeah That's it's crazy. probably gonna be every bit of that. Could I see like one of the conditions of the coins what we're talking about? Like maybe right here, this one? Okay, this will be working. Let's see. So yeah, it's just 1917. It'd be wonderful if that was in a better condition, but this thing is about as slicked out as you can get. Yeah, this that's, would... you know, that's basically, that's basically just 90% silver. Yeah. You know, you get that coin, you really need that coin. It's a 17 plane. Yeah, you want that and find a better. Yeah. And this is really rough. Yeah. But it's still a cool coin. It still has a lot of history, but oh, it's yeah. it's sold for silver you know, value mostly. At, a coin like this would have been passing through, you know, the hands of people right through World War II. So, you know, it's been around a long time. I just thought that was neat, me hanging out with Guy and watching him, how he evaluates his collection right here. And uh, just thought I'd show this, how it goes in the back room of the office here and how Guy has to go through individually through every coin. He's not just grabbing the whole box and going like, ah, I'll give you this kind of price on it. He's going through each and every one. And then kind of we wild. take out the calculator. And we do a multiply. Do some real math right here. You don't want to calculate on paper anymore? Yeah, I move it to there. The teacher, you know, I mean, the, she yeah. said that you, wherever you went, they wouldn't be like some, you know, calculator with you wherever you went. That was me. I was the calculator usually. <laughs> I found this box interesting. My dad got me this same exact style box years, years back. But you said the customer probably wants to keep that box. I'm just going to give it to him. I don't think he meant to give me that. So. I bet you have tons of boxes and cases and got all kinds of back. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we got to start selling those. Hey, let me know. Let me know. I might be in the in the business of uh, buying a box from you. Is this part of his collection too? This little baggie. Yes. So more for you to go through. Anyways, everybody, I just wanted you to kind of see how Guy goes through a uh, a collection that's dropped off on him, and that person will come back, and I'm sure you'll give him the price, and if they want it, they can take the price, right? That's all it is. Yeah, you man. can take it or not, but usually they take it. Appreciate you, Guy. Thank you. Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular.